Hi everyone, I'm back with another video about the Season 4 PTR I've been testing a lot and today I want to talk about the Sorcerer again. I've already made a video about the new Firebolt Sorcerer enabled by the Flame Weaver Unique that's coming in Season 4 and here we have the showcase of another Unique that is build defining the Fractured Winter Glass making Frozen Orb an incredible late game build that combines it with conjurations so this is what you see in action here and it looks absolutely incredible when you play this this is one of the last builds i tried out on a pdr this was literally like last day or so when i played this and i gotta say this build is absolutely crushing so you see here this is like a pit 159 which at that time was like the highest i could open and i'm absolutely cruising for this and there's no doubt that this is easy peasy going all the way to a pit 200 at least with the scaling that we had on the ptr so it's safe to say this is one of the best builds out there uh, in particular for the sorcerers but in general it's just like a very fun very easy and very strong build that just perma freezes everything it throws those frozen orbs around you all the time it looks amazing in fact it's probably a bit too much <laughs> some of the feedback i gave in, in my um, ptr feedback uh, document as well but it is actually pretty hilarious because of like how much stuff is going on so the way this works is that the fracture winter glass makes it so that whenever you cast frozen orbs it has a chance to spawn conjurations any random conjuration so ice blades or lightning spears or hydras and those conjurations then have a lucky hit to throw their own frozen orbs and those can kind of like you know go back and forth basically so when you have a large pack like this here you see there's just like 20 frozen orbs exploding all the time and you also have for example the frozen orbit aspect that makes the frozen orb explode three times so that you actually have like lots of lucky hit triggers you have uh, lots of opportunities to trigger those conjuration spawns and you have lightning spears flying around constantly you have the ice blades coming in and uh, just like you know making enemies vulnerable and resetting your cooldowns look at the cooldown for example on ice blades on the left click there and uh, this is kind of like how the entire setup comes together so it's like a nice combo between conjurations and a frozen orb and there's also some extra perks for example blizzard has buffed the conjuration mastery passive that uh, allows you to stack a lot of extra damage but also lots of mana regeneration and you see for example the mana going up extremely fast here all the time this is also thanks to the conjuration mastery passive so the more conjurations you have out you see those 15 stacks there 14 stacks etc uh, the more the scales up and the, the more you can just spam everything so it kind of just synergizes off each other in like a really crazy way and makes this build really powerful before we continue with the video, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Boot.dev. They have created a platform that makes it easier than ever to get into programming and polish your skills. They believe that the easiest way to learn code is to make sure that you're never bored. And this is why they have designed their courses to feel more like a game and less like a chore. The only way to really get into programming is to get your hands busy and write a ton of code. And this is exactly what the tasks allow you to do without ever feeling like you're getting stuck because they have tons of tools to help you out. In these courses, you're going to learn backend programming from start to finish in the Python and Go languages. As you may know, programmers have huge earning potential. In the US, the median is upwards of 100K per year. And additionally, they can very often work from home, which is very convenient. And what I find really admirable about boot.dev is that they really follow their mission. Even for people that don't have the means to pay for a membership, they offer all of their content for free to read and watch. The paid membership only unlocks the interactivity and the game that goes with the programs. Compared to attending a university course, boot.dev is a way cheaper solution and allows you the flexibility of doing it all at your own pace and from home. They offer both a monthly and annual subscription and you can cancel in the first 30 days, no questions asked. So if you really want to learn coding and that convince you, then go check out boot.dev with the link in the description or the pinned comment below. And you get 25% off your first payment to boot.dev by clicking that link or using my code. And now let's go back to the video. Now let's go into the setup and I'm going to show you what I made here on the PTR to actually produce this result that you saw in the intro of the video. So here's the planner. This is already what I have here on my Discord as well. So if you are uh, ever looking for any of my builds, then you can go check them here in the Woody Builds channel. So I have it here, the Frozen Orb build. This is not a fully completed planner yet. I don't have the stats, for example, and so on that um, we previously didn't have in a planner, but I will be updating those and it will make it ready for season four. 
Also, we have to see if there's going to be some final updates in the final patch notes. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, the build is going to work roughly how I showed it. Maybe a bit weaker, I imagine, because there might be some slight tweaks. But uh, this is basically what we're going to be playing. If you want to play Frozen Orb, now's the time. I've already played Frozen Orb back in Season 1, actually, when you had the Valinian Hearts. I was um, a big Frozen Orb enjoyer. It wasn't really like a top tier build or something like that, but it was fine enough to even go all the way to T100 Nightmare Dungeons. These days we have the goal of rather going to Pit 200, so that the bar is a bit higher. But this Fractured Winter Glass unique definitely helps you to get there. This is one of the new uniques that will drop from Lord Zier in World Tier 4, as you can see this here. Uh, this is uh, something to remember when the season comes out. You want to farm this boss on World Tier 4. And uh, yeah, there's also like the list of the other new unique drops here that will come in Season 4. It was already posted here by uh, Pass Radar a few weeks back ago when the PTR was out. But you definitely want to try to get this item as soon as possible to really make this whole combo come online. Before that, you will have to play either something else or just play pr proper normal Frozen Orb, which is also okay. They have been buffing Frozen Orb quite a bit since I've played it back in Season 1. And as I mentioned, it was already kind of fine, especially for leveling when you don't go really high-end content and you don't have to fight like bosses with millions and millions and millions of life frozen orb works just fine out of the box i would say you also uh, just have to get like this aspect here the frozen orbit aspect is a drop only aspect so you have to find it at least once this is pretty important but outside of that they have relatively decent like you know easy to get powerful affixes that they can get on a sorg that will make frozen orb work from the start basically so it's not like the number one build to level up but it will be fine and then you can just try to get this unique as soon as possible. And then the entire combo starts working together. You're going to change your setup to have more conservations. And there you go. The way that I built this setup that you saw in the clip at the start is that I had a Frozen Orb enchantment. So every time you cast Frozen Orbs, you have a very percent chance to get another Frozen Orb. And also in Season 4, you can now choose where to detonate the explosion, uh, the Frozen Orb explosion. So it goes to your cursor when you play your mouse and keyboard. And I suppose when you play with controller, it just goes to your target or like, you know, a random like set distance if you don't have any target. So it's not like uh, before where it always had like a fixed relatively long distance and you had a constant reposition. You can just literally stand on top of the enemies and throw frozen ops in their face if you want to. And this makes it much easier and much better to play with this as well, because you kind of guaranteed get the explosions on the targets all the time. And the radius is really large. So it's quite easy to hit basically the half the screen or something, basically the entire pack that you're trying to hit. In my case, I also played with Inferno, which seems a bit counterintuitive for a cold build, but I really like the pull-in effect. This is kind of optional, I would say. You don't need it. I don't need the burn effect because I have Fireball to enchant already, for example. But I really like just kind of like walking into a pack and then pulling everything together, like, you know, three elites are stacked up and then you just start throwing frozen orbs and the entire pack just melts. So this is what I liked here. But if you really want, you can play with the priest there or you can even get like, for example, a frost nova in there, which is not bad. If you just want to walk into a pack, press frost nova. That can also make stuff a lot safer. So this is a kind of up to you there. So these are, I think, the three options that you could put here as the last, um, like, kind of like tech slot. And the rest is like pretty standard. We have uh, Flame Shield, Ice Armor. Flame Shield in particular is extremely good in Season 4, I think, with all of these like uh, boss fights lasting pretty long. You saw that in the clip as well. The boss fights are kind of a weakness of Frozen Orb. You can definitely improve the boss damage more. What I had there was very unoptimized setup. So uh, once you are you know fully decked out, you can uh, cruise for Pit 2 100. Uh, even the boss fights will be very fast. But Flame Shield definitely helps to just kind of tank possibilities, especially in the pit, and then ice armor for extra barriers. And all of these cooldowns will also trigger the typical combo here with, for example, icy veil and um, the protection. So we get the barriers all the time. We have some other defensive nodes here, like mana shield and align the elements. So in general, this is actually a fairly tanky setup as well. You freeze everything, you have barriers all the time, you have the flame shield, you can teleport. So it feels good all around. And quite interestingly, the Conservation Mastery it seems to be just straight up enough to give you all of the mana region that you could ever need because you have this uh, incredible mana regeneration effect for each active Conservation. As you saw earlier, that could be up to like 15, even 20 plus of those Conservations active at a time. Even if they do, do tune you down a little bit, let's say even like 10 stacks or so of this is already extremely powerful, but it only counts for 
passive regeneration. So you kind of want to try to stack uh, mana regeneration, for example, uh, you can get that on helms, chest, and boots. So you can try to have like one or two rolls there, for example. I think when I played, I only had one roll of mana regeneration on one item, and then I had Conservation Mastery, and that was basically the entire solution for my resource recovery. So there's no resource aspect, there's full offense, there's a Tarasha ring, there's a Conceited, there's no you know, crazy stuff here. It was mostly just Conservation Mastery. That's how good it is with the Fractured Winter Glass. But before you get this unique amulet, you probably have to invest a little bit. For example, you can go for the typical uh, Prodigy aspect that is from the Codex. So you can get uh, resources there before you get the amulet and then have this whole conservation build going online. And for the Paragons, I can also go over that real quick. It looks uh, like this. We have six boards, six glyphs, and uh, like one or two legendary notes that are pretty impactful. Most importantly, Icefall. That gives you the extra damage against vulnerable enemies. And uh, we have here the Frigid Fate. So the two cold boards, basically. Uh, Frigid Fate gives you also extra damage to vulnerable targets based on your cold damage. Uh, this number here looks kind of low, but you can actually um, temper cold damage or non-physical damage. Uh, there's something like that on tempered items to kind of like max out this Frigid Fate board here. And then you're going to get this full effect. And the rest is basically just like stacking up a lot of defense. In general, the name of the game in Season 4 is going to be Stack Defense on your Paragons. So we have like a lot of life here. We have a lot of like damage reduction from Vulnerable, damage reduction from Chilled, damage reduction from Burning, and it, all these kind of effects here, basically. So in general, you want to try to get as tanky as possible to make sure that they can survive the high-end content in the pit and also those uber bosses. And uh, the rest is just like, you know, grab some really important like damage modifiers. For example, there's the Winter Glyph. Here's the Destruction Glyph for the uh, the Crit Scaling. Here's the Reinforced Glyph that buffs the damage reduction. Uh, here's the Conjurer Glyph that um, just gives them increased duration, so that helps to keep those stacks high. The Control Glyph, because you freeze everything, you have a really nice damage bonus. And lastly, the Exploit Glyph here, because Frozen Orb makes everything vulnerable by default as well. So this is kind of like how the setup works. I will go over this again to tweak it, and as I mentioned, I'm probably going to um, you know, like fully min-max the setup. I'm gonna go in and, you know, add all of the stats as soon as possible as well. And also, I'm planning to make some kind of like early game version where you play without the Fractured Winter Glass so that you can actually play Winter Orb or Frozen Orb right from the start. Either way, this is it for my showcase of the new Frozen Orb Sorcerer in Season 4. I'm gonna keep you guys updated with like a full build guide when time comes. So I'm still waiting for the final patch notes. I'm still going through PDR footage and, you know, trying to figure out what we're gonna do and so on. But this is definitely something I'm looking forward to playing. So hope that you enjoyed this little showcase here. Uh, you can bookmark the planner already. So this is going to be the planner that I'll be using. I'm going to be making a video again about this. And other than that, hope you enjoyed this video here. And I'll see you guys next time.